Oh, continuing right now for Golden State. They've been on a tremendous run, and we're deep enough into the season now to know that it's no mirage. These guys definitely for real. Well, for Golden State, they certainly didn't struggle before Steve Kerr became head coach, but since his arrival, he has this team executing one of the most beautiful offenses in the league. It reminds me a little bit of the triangle. What I mean by that, there's constant motion and cuts in this offensive system. You know, it's much more than just the Splash Brothers shooting up threes. These guys are a, a fun team to watch. Yeah, you know, Steve, he, he did a great job of blending all the coaching styles that he's learned over the past years. He's played for some great coaches, and, you know, he's been fortunate enough to take a little bit from each of them and implement it, and it worked. It uh, turned into a championship in 2015 for Golden State. That does it for us. Kevin Harlan with the call, and we will see you later. of the Big Apple. It's an interconference contest here in the Big Apple, New York, as the Knicks play one at home. Buckle yourselves in, everybody. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony and Doris Burke reporting from the sidelines. And, of course, Evan Turner. He's still learning the system, but looks like he'll be a good fit. Right, you know, you that go. trade that you mentioned there isn't making front page news, but sometimes the best trades are the quiet ones. But I really believe this is going to pay dividends for this team in the future. Yeah, you don't always have to make the huge splash to make the biggest impact. A lot of times when you can just fill voids and find the right role players, that can be equally as important. Now Golden State's starting five. Green at the four with Bogut at the five. Barbosa is out there with Steph Curry. And it's Iguodala in at the small forward position. And they get the first bucket of the game on that one. I tell you what, fellas, I'm anticipating a good one here. Turner dishes to a flower. Passes it to a Quinn. It's stolen by Green. And here we go with Barbosa. Head into the hoop. A flower pulls it in. Look at the last game for the Golden State Warriors. It was a win against the 76ers in Philadelphia. And they ran their offense nearly to perfection in that one. Uh, very few possessions were wasted. Yeah, they put the mute button on them that time. I mean, in front of a hostile crowd, they never let the fans get going. They silenced them over and over again with big, timely shots. Here's Curry, and it's thrown down hard with both hands. And Kevin, who says a point guard should look to pass first? I mean, not when you can finish like this fella. Well, Clark, he wasn't going to give that opportunity up to a teammate. But, you know, Kevin, that's one he'll always take himself. And he should. I mean, you can't pass up that kind of opportunity or fun. Early on, three misses to open the game. Their offense right now still trying to find its way. There's the pick. Bogut picks to Barbosa. A picture perfect screenplay, and the jumper's good. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know, he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. And Bullseye with that assist. Nice delivery there in traffic. And guys, Porzingis was almost a rookie last season, but he opted to pull out of the early entry and wait a year for this past summer's draft. Seems to have worked out for him as far as how his draft stock has changed. Curry gets the bucket. I tell you what, guys, it's going to be a tough day on this defense if he's got the A game rolling tonight. Grant kicks to a follow. Down low, here's O'Quinn. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. O'Quinn's got his first points of the night. Greg, you're right with Porzingis. It made sense for him to wait one more year. Clark has a lot to learn, but still comes over, a, you know, as a much talked about player, a much better player than had he declared last season. I agree with you, yet he'll still need time to develop, but all the ingredients are there. He's got a chance to be a really good player. Yeah, the Latvian had a great shot for his height, and there will be an interesting stretch four in the NBA. Good call. And Steph Curry, 6'3", and about 195. I mean, a slender frame. You look back to high school and college, and that was one of the question marks. Did he have the strength to succeed? Now, here's Grant. He picked up 15 points in the last win against Phoenix. 
Yeah, but Kevin, a lot of those points came at the line. I mean, he was aggressive to attack the D, not settling, and really did a good job of cashing in on those free throws. And speaking of Curry's slight build, he's worked up and bulked himself up. He's added some muscle. He even got up to 200 pounds, I think he said. Uh, but he didn't feel real good, Clark, at that weight. Yeah, it's not about the weight, Kevin. It's about strength. You need it to fight through screens and attack the rim. And he's clearly put on the strength he needs to play at his highest level. Play him tight. Come on. From deep three-point range, from beyond the arc, and then some. Curry's got 10 points. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. And remember, you go back to when Steph Curry was in college, more of a shooting guard at Davidson, but, but he's worked relentlessly to not only improve his ball handling, but his vision. And now, all of a sudden, he's one of the most elusive ball handlers in the NBA. We're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Grant hits to O'Quinn. It's stolen by Bogut. Here's Barbosa. It's rebounded by Porzingis. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time. No question. And Curry, certainly Clark, a magician with the ball in his hands. He can really supply the terrific handle, razzle-dazzle moves, yeah. crossovers. He has it all. He sure does, but on occasion he can be a little loose with it and turn it over some. That's been a focus both by him and the coaching staff. Attack, but do it with precision. Pushing it up. And it's Green slamming it down. And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. That's exactly the way to do it, too, Kevin. Go hard to the bucket, and don't let them set up the defense. And the replay, of course, presented by Kia. What a play. Now Bogut after the missed three from Evan Turner. Curry, good. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Grant the pass to Turner. There's a good screen to end the run. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Some changes for Golden State. Spates comes in for Andrew Bogut. And it's Livingston in for Leandro Barbosa. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with the steals. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. No good from Spates. And you really thought that was going to be a gimme but unable to convert. Yeah, and a little self-talk, angry self-talk for himself after that miss. And Turner kicks to Grant. Here's O'Quinn, the turnaround jumper. Just such a good shooter from that range. And you factor in his height advantage. Uh, it's almost unfair. Curry dishes to Spates. Feeds it to Green. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. And New York making a change here. Galloway's checked in. Azili's checked in for the Warriors. Looney comes in for Andre Iguodala. Here's Galloway. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. Here's Turner. It's deflected. Out to the right wing. Looney with the bucket. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. And so it's New York with it following the score by Golden State. And here we go with Curry running it up the court. Looney with the bucket. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. 
time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. How about the rhythm they got into offensively there? That No doubt in my mind what the result was going to be once they started to click. Really impressive, partner, because they simply put it on cruise control. Catching up on the changes for New York, Derek Williams checked in for Pazingas. Vujicic comes in for Evan Turner. And it's Calderon in for Aaron Aflalo. So far on the glass, it hasn't even been close. Yeah, they're taking it to him. It feels like they've gotten every loose ball. And off to an incredible start here early from long range. Lighting it up from outside. Hard to keep up with this. And so here is New York after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. Here's Galloway. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. To the paint. And he jams it with authority. Oh, they are putting the hammer down. A huge lead right now. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if we're talking about their offense or their defense. I mean, it's all been good. The shot's good from O'Quinn. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Pass to Looney. To the middle. Deflects the pass. Stolen by Vujicic. Calderon with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. And let's go to a rundown of the best point guards from the free throw line over the course of the last month. Here is your 2K leaderboard. You take a look at Calderon, second in the NBA. He's so great from the line. Well, if these guys can get to the line, there's not much question what the outcome's going to be. So it sort of prevents the D from being as aggressive as they'd like to be against them. Yeah, because of their shooting ability, they get a little more space than the average point guard. Uh, maybe they'll miss a shot from the floor, but if you send them to the line, those points are almost guaranteed. Here is Calderon following the score by Golden State. It's blocked. Stolen by O'Quinn. And the call will be against Sean Livingston. That's his first foul. One forty-six left to play in the first. Here's Galloway, guarded by Kerr. Jose, Jose, Jose. The dish to Calderon. Williams with a clean look, and it falls over the rim and in. You know, I don't think it's ever too late to make a sweet nine. I mean, even if you're halfway through your shot, you might find a better one with four teammates. And you guys, he, he was once considered a tweener. But now I think Derrick Williams has kind of settled in to that four position. Seems to be the best position fit for him at this stage of his career. New York's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Calderon with it. Nine-point game is last outing. Off the screen. That's good on the jump shot. Calderon's got his first two points of the night. Great job of utilizing that screen and finding space to knock down the jumper. Good basketball. Here's Livingston. And another three for Golden State. And it's like raining buckets right now. I wonder if this is the early stages of a blowout. Well, we've got to be careful. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves just yet. Uh, but it has been pretty ugly so far. No doubt about that. All going up court. Finishes the break with a slam. You could not diagram a better way to open a quarter. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look at the lead they've jumped out to already. What a start. New York shooting looking a little out of sorts early. 37%. Here's Galloway, guarded by Curry. It's stolen by Curry. From the arc. And another three for Golden State. They're allowing a sky-high field goal percentage. That won't get it. <laughs> Not at all, Clark. You rarely see a team surrender points this easily. They have got to do that. That's good. Tit for tat right there, huh, guys? Didn't take them long at all, fellas, to get those three points back. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses getting the deuce. Boy, he had a nice look at it after, after drawing the foul. Boy, it would have been nice to get an and one there. 
And this is his second trip to the line tonight. The free throw drops for Curry. And both free throws good for Curry. And that's it for the first quarter in what's been a very lopsided game. Warriors ahead, running away with it, and will return shortly. And a chance to hear from former number two overall pick Derek Williams about his focus offensively. Just getting to the basket more, you know, being able to finish with the defender in front of me. I think getting to the line a lot more as well. You know, I think, you know, getting to the line and, and, and finishing at the basket. Two huge improvements for him. Uh, Greg, can he do more? Uh, definitely. Uh, he's already taken a big leap forward, and there's plenty more room for him to grow. He could become a real beast in this league. And welcome back. It's been all one-sided so far through the first quarter as our second quarter gets underway. And a very convincing performance here from the Warriors so far. They come out the gates here strong and put together just a solid first quarter. A ton of good looks for him, Greg, on offense, and... It's quality shots they're getting. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. And New York looking at who they've got. Derek Williams is out there with Earl. Then there's a Flalo. Then there's Grant. And it's Przingis in at the five. Roman the paint. And a wide open look for Igudala. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his eighth assist in the game. Grant the pass to Aflalo. That is good. Aflalo's got five. You know what? That's what you like to see. A perfect pass leading him right into the shot. Didn't even have to break stride. Here's Green. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. And this guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward. And he needs to be as an undersized player. Grant against Curry. Picked by Williams. Aflalo goes in. Softly drops in the floater. Aflalo's got four points this quarter. You know, he didn't need to make the layup complicated. I mean, it's not a trick shot contest, but he decided to go for a little extra flavor on that one. New York shooting 43% from the field. Grant against Igudala. Igudala with the steal. And now Curry running the floor all by himself. And Green with the basket on the assist by Curry. Curry's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Now here's Grant looking for his first basket still in this one. And Steph Curry with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Turner's checked in for Clay Anthony early. And the Warriors also making a change. Sean Livingston, he's checked in for Steph Curry. And it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. Let's check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year. You look at Golden State, earning the first place position with a terrific record. And we've seen them perform splendidly pretty much all season long so far. And they're definitely the team to beat. And checking out San Antonio, seven games back. And for the Warriors, I think they've lived up to their billing this season. That's for sure. It doesn't look like they'll be slowing down anytime soon. Well, they can't afford to. I mean, this is a time of year when you've got to take your game up a notch. As good as they've been throughout the regular season, they've got to get better going forward. Now here's Green. Aaron Afalo missing his last shot. And the shot is good. Great outside shooting fueling this run. And the D is getting bombarded. They haven't been able to slow them down. And finished off by Williams. 
threw it down with authority. Oh, he can really fly. And you combine that, Clark, with some of the nice penetration, too, and you've got an easy two points. And able to just play well above the rim. I mean, that makes this guy so dangerous when he's in the game. The shot by Iguodala, and the Warriors tack on two more. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync, tremendous communication and awareness. And, and Andre Iguodala, guys, one of the most unselfish players in the league. I mean, that unselfishness for me, too, is what was put to a test last season as the former All-Star was asked by his coach, Steve Kerr, to come off the bench for the Warriors. And, and you know what? He did it without complaint, putting the team first. Kyle Quinn is checked in for New York. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Spates. Sasha Vujicic is checked in for New York. And Golden State also making a change. Looney's checked in for Leandro Barbosa. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Turner. New York, no good that time either. And for Iguodala, some have said he's unselfish Clark to a fault. Yeah, and you know, a great athlete and ball handler, I think he could be much more aggressive looking to attack off the dribble. He's really unique, though, a player who puts his emphasis on the defensive end and does a really good job at that end of the floor. And so it's New York with it, following the score by Golden State. Here's Grant. Warriors with the rebound. Livingston's got his third rebound on the night. They've shown effort and aggression in the paint right from the tip. Their rebounding edge is impressive. And they're giving themselves extra possessions and have taken advantage of it. And that's critical. You can shoot a few lesser percentage if you're getting more opportunities at the rim. Fires the three. The rebound by Grant. For New York, they've gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. And he drops in the layup off the glass. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. Just no resistance on the interior. Now here's Iguodala. He had 16 points in the win against Philadelphia. Here's Spates. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The Knicks have gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Grant outside. He kicks it to Vujicic. Launches it. And he gets it to go. Vujicic has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Tries it from 19. Here's Azili, and it's blocked by O'Quinn. Grant against Iguodala. And Iguodala comes to help. Here's Persingas, and the rejection by Azili. The shot's good from O'Quinn. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy putback. Iguodala kicks to Livingston, and he gets it to go. Livingston's got five now. Really aggressive play there, taking it to the rack against the big fella. You know, Greg, aggressiveness is really the only option when you're on the wrong side of the size equation. Now the pass to Persingas, and again, it's New York. Well, they really started to come on here in the second. Clark, it's about how much more focused they look offensively here. They're trying to make up some ground. Here's Azili. 11 points for him in that last game against the 76ers in Philadelphia. There's the feed to Iguodala. Pulls up. And that one comes up a bit short. For New York, they've gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter, up over 50%. No one near Turner as he lets it go. And again, it's New York. And he should thank the team for those two points. Nobody paid much attention to him on that play. And how thrilled must have Evan Turner been last season to get a second chance. Clark with the boost in minutes, confidence, and coaching staff. His game almost just changed overnight. Yeah, he's a guy who needs the basketball. He's such a good, solid playmaker and has excellent size. Never had a chance in Indiana to really handle the ball and play to his strengths because of Paul George and Lance Stevenson, but he found a nice niche in Boston. Well, you know what he can do after watching him for so many years with the Buckeyes. Yeah, he's terrific. Good basketball IQ, too. Andrew Bogut, he's checked in for the Warriors.
Here's Bam. He had a 12 point outing in their last game against Philadelphia. Lock at six. Livingston dishes to Bab. Fires the three. And that is good. Bab's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. The Knicks have gone 8 of 13 in the second quarter. Well above the 50% mark from the field. Calderon passes to Galloway. Back to Calderon. And it's sent back by Bogut. Here's Livingston. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. And I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break. Yeah, you know, that's what we call seeing and feeling the game. Excellent read of how that play was going to develop and where the ball was going. That's stuff that you oftentimes can't teach, Greg. When you think about Sean Livingston, you think about the career that might have been an absolute rising star after being taken Clark fourth. Back in the 2004 draft. Kevin, he was averaging over five assists a game as a teenager, and his shot was improving every year. Then the devastating knee injury. Just great to see him back playing basketball. Now here's Calderon. Wing shot on the way. A rebound by Azili. Azili's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. They're really pushing them around. Straight bully ball. For the Knicks, Williams comes in for Kyle O'Quinn. And it's early in for Turner. The Warriors also with a sub. Curry's checked in. And getting back to Livingston, he's had comeback after comeback. I mean, each time he'd start to flash those unbelievable movement skills, he'd get injured again. It's a shame because he was on the path to becoming one of the game's great young point guard. Now, here's Calderon. Over in the corner, Williams. Shot to stop the run. The Knicks have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. That free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. On offense, here are the Warriors. They're on a nine to one run. Pass to Bogut. Outside for Curry. Connects from three-point range. Curry's got 23 points. And for Livingston, last season with the Warriors was a dream. He got to back up Steph, so he got to play against second stringers, and we got to see flashes of his dominant traits again. What a happy ending for him. Now here's Calderon. He dishes it to Williams. Early kicks to Galloway. New York needs to get off a shot. New York, no good that time either. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Curry against Calderon. Curry picks to Barbosa. Back to Curry. They double-team Curry. He feeds it to Bogut. Rush dishes to Curry. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Curry's got 25 points. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Pretty clear, it's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. To the left side wing. Or three, Calderon. That's good. Calderon's got his second bucket tonight. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still as a defender, you got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. And the Knicks making a change here. Aflalo's checked in. McAdoo is checked in for the Warriors. Here's early. And Steph Curry with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. Let's go. 
Barbosa against the follow. Top of the key jumper, no good. And not a night he's going to want to remember, just not really able to score the basketball. You know, sometimes you don't like to see guys pull up from three-point range on the break, but for him, with nobody on him, that's a pretty good shot. Here's Galloway. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. They get Stephen Curry. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it, Greg. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the official. Both good from the line that time. Just four seconds left in the second quarter. A dominating first half of basketball, and so far, hasn't been close. The Warriors on top as they end the second quarter with a tremendous 17-6 run. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. What a start it was for Stephen Curry. He had 25 points, four steals, and a crazy number of assists. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? I love how they opened the game up. They pushed the ball up court at every opportunity, and they put the defense on their heels. But it wasn't just a track meet. It was a well-thought-out strategy that the coaches had way beforehand. We'll see what adjustments get made to try to stop their transition game in the second half. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? Well, they were playing like it was Christmas, Ernie. Giving up a lot of turnovers. There's no excuses for the turnover numbers, sloppy ball handling. They look out of control, and the execution was all over the place. And that'll wrap up our halftime show. The third quarter set to go moments from now. We will be right back here after the game. Welcome back, everybody. Third quarter just 